The Hanford Fit plant has started testing and limited operations for the utility systems needed to support future plant operations. This work, known as the startup and testing phase, has begun on the plant's extensive array of process support infrastructure called the balance of facilities. To prepare the 65-acre site for eventual operations as soon as 2022, a concurrent construction, startup, and commissioning approach is being conducted for the VIT plant's process support infrastructure. These support services are housed in 20 support buildings containing a total of 56 systems, including an electrical power distribution system, backup power, water purification, compressed air, steam, communication and control, and fire water systems. As systems and subsystems are completed, there is a rigorous construction to startup turnover that takes place over several weeks where walkdowns, physical inspections, and documentation happen. This tracks which systems are complete, energized, pressurized, and going through the startup and testing mode while construction continues in other areas of the plant. Currently, startup crews are focused on testing the VIT plant's electrical and water distribution systems. Of the systems transition to the startup phase, crews have successfully completed testing and demonstrated functionality for about a dozen systems which have been transferred to the next commissioning phase. After the startup phase, systems undergo a commissioning phase to ensure they are calibrated and ready for future plant operations. All VIT plant facilities, including the Low Activity Waste Facility and the Analytical Laboratory, will undergo the startup and commissioning process currently underway in the less complicated BOF systems. The startup phase is the next step as the VIT plant progresses to treat Hanford's low activity tank waste. Through DOE's Direct Feed Low Activity Waste approach, the VIT plant will start treating waste as soon as 2022.